What's up, guys? It's Fiv Chief here. In this video, I'm going to go over every single investment you can make right now on FC24. So let's go ahead and dive into this and start with our kind of low budget guaranteed coins investments, which we're going to kick it off with gold fodder, because if I wasn't already all in invested, this is where I would be putting all of my coins. So right now, 85 rated cards are sitting under 5,000 coins, which is an unbelievable investment opportunity. Number one, because I think we'll have some really good casino SPCs coming over the next week. And number two, because these cards do not get much cheaper than this. So let's go ahead and jump over to the footbin cheapest by rating page here. And as you can see, 85s are already under 5,000 coins. And I'm recording this Friday before content. So so I expect these cards to get even cheaper than they are already. So if we take a look at these cards, the last time 85s were this cheap, they were down at like 4,300 coins, and then they immediately shot up to about 7,000. You, you would have made about 2,500 coins a card. And this is basically just about as cheap as they get, is getting anywhere near 4,000 coins, which after content over the next coming day or so, I would expect these to get to kind of the lower 4,000 thousand range and i think this is a no-brainer investment for anybody you could have 200k you could have a million coins i would go ahead and dump everything i have into these 85s now there are some other options here as well in terms of the fodder range 84s are getting to a really good mark here anytime these are around 1.3 1.4k i think these are a great investment because they'll constantly go to 2000 coins with the content that we get if we take a look here brant i mean you'll see the spikes are just constant whenever these get low you'll get a nice big spike up to 2000 even sometimes up to 3000 based on what ea release so it's kind of a no-brainer the 84s and 85s whenever they get this cheap so another thing in terms of fodder that kind of makes it very very easy to invest in is the manner in which EA release SBCs. So whenever they release upgrade SBCs, what you'll see a lot of times is it's like this 85 plus player pick where it's an SBC they release early in the week and then it's repeatable every single day throughout the week. So what happens is whatever's required rises in price. So what we saw this week is we saw really nice rises in 84s, which has kind of died down now because we have content coming. We have pretty much everybody has done this player pick already every day so the 84 demands dying down but throughout the week you saw those cards kind of rise just because they're required every single day so whenever you see an SBC like that come out say on like saturday they release maybe an 83 times 10 that requires an 85 rated squad 85s are going to rise throughout the week so Whenever EA release a repeatable SBC, you can go ahead and just invest in basically whatever they require, and it'll slowly rise throughout the week as long as it's a well-priced SBC that people are going to be completing. So in terms of the fodder range, the 84s, 85s, especially these 85s are kind of in that like no brainer investment range 86s for 8,000 or less is a phenomenal price and then this higher rated stuff isn't like a great range but depending upon what ea release it can rise at the end of the day fodder is essentially whatever ea is requiring for sbcs that's what's going to rise it's very simple very easy but whenever you get cards that are getting this cheap like close to their all-time lows that's where i would throw all of my coins which is what i think on the fodder range right now so let's go ahead and jump into then maybe a little bit higher budget stuff looking at these fantasy fc team two cards i think we still have some really really good options here first off we'll hit on the person that's my all-in investment right now is this pascarao woman basically she's almost guaranteed to get two upgrades likely to get three upgrades so it's base she basically has to rise in price because if she goes to an 89 which again it's a long term thing cuz you have to wait for these upgrades to come you have to wait for their teams to to hit these landmarks accomplishments milestones whatever you want to call it for them to get upgrades but if she just gets two upgrades and goes to an 89 89s right now are 33,000 coins. So I'd be almost doubling my coins on this card just like that. So that's where I kind of look for these FC cards. I think Pedro Poro is a good option as well. And then some of those Team 1 cards that we've been talking about too 
I mean, I know we made a lot of coins on Politano already. I told you guys, I think this Molina card, if they get a clean sheet, a good option. And then this Aspas card, I told you guys to get in on at 31K. He is still likely to get an upgrade to a 90 rated card, given he makes one more appearance. So these are all very, very good options. I think this Majiri card is still like a good long-term option because I think this Leon's women team from what i'm hearing is likely to get all four upgrades so she'll have a ridiculous card but for me i'm all in on this card just because it's pretty much guaranteed coins but again everything's based on real life results for these so you are there's obviously a risk if your player gets injured if the team has a bad stretch of form everything like that but guys that is going to be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video